Hello folks and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Absurdities. I'm uh, ensconced in my dog sitting. It's actually it's actually hobby farm sitting. Uh, the dog has gone with the owners, so I'm looking after some sheep and chickens. But uh, anyways, good times. Uh, if the audio sounds a little different, that's why. I'm in a little farmhouse kitchen. And uh, I've managed to raise their table by raising it up on soup cans. Because it was too low for my legs. I'm too tall. Uh, anyways, at least for the antique that this is. Fire. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... We're, we're having some rough times here in the base. Uh, mostly because we've lost two colonists in almost as many days. Uh, it feels like anyways. Certainly in the last few. Uh, I'm, I'm really tempted to say don't fight fires. And we'll manually get them to firefight when necessary because there's just stuff that needs to be done let's see so yeah we were making this space for elapsis as a as a what as kind of a throne room wasn't it no that's not what i want i want that we gotta rebuild that stuff and it ends uh doing what he does doing the planting and yeah, we have a lot of stuff that needs to come inside. Let's get that done. And we've got to remember not to let the anima tree burn, that's for sure. Uh, what do we have here? Is this visitors? Yes, yes it is. Don't get hit by lightning. Good luck to you. And let's move on here. We have too many prisoners, I would say. Can we, uh, do a little conversion here? I mean, Elapsis is almost on her sleep. Yeah, please convert. Oh, maybe, maybe now. Maybe now. Her mood's pretty good. Hopefully Dundas's isn't too bad. This is after they just had a big old social fight. Certainty is down to 65. Okay, convert El Regis as well, please. And then we're going to have to recruit them. The other two, I could almost not care a bit right now. But if we let them go, they're not going to be able to go anywhere. Oh, it's 8 degrees inside. Maybe they need a torch. Let's get them a torch for a little bit of heating in there. And we'll get Brett Craft to build that right away. It's probably super cold in there too. Yes, yeah, six degrees in the hospital. Of course, we could take down the cooler. All the coolers you can uninstall now. Thank you very much. Where's this fire? It will be fine. One there. That should go out as well. I'm amazed they last as long as they do. Oh, and we're all fully healed. Very nice. That makes me happy, Brettcraft. You're meditating at the anima tree. No, you're supposed to be making torches, man. These people are going to freeze to death. They're going to get frostbite. Come on. And Regis has gone berserk. Is this the second time? Well, taking him out shouldn't be too hard. He's already hurt. He's going after Dundas again. That's amazing. Alright, making more work for us, that's for sure. Elapsis, you're going to have to tend to Regis. Have you lost any limbs yet? No, just one cut from the axe. A couple bruises. Oh yeah, you need eyes. Well, Sky. I'm sorry about your luck. Left eye, right eye. And now they have a little bit of heat in there. It's still only three degrees though, so maybe a second torch? Maybe we wait a little bit, see if it comes up. I don't know. Let's just put a second one in there. Nobody's in the hospital right now. 
It's still only three degrees. And it's one degree inside. I think we're going to need a proper heater. Couple of them. You still working on that? Hauling wood to torch lamp. Okay, and then you're going to build that, and you're going to build that. Heat's kind of important. Uh, sky, medical emergency. Why? Hypothermia. Extreme. Yeah. Why, why won't you finish building things? Come on, man. Come on, man. Do it. Um, that should hopefully bring the temperature up a little bit. We're going to have to do something about this rain, perhaps. I don't know. It's manageable, so it's not that big a deal. That my fear is we send people off and they get killed trying to fight those mechs. And we're boned. So I think we got to deal with the weather for now. As much as I hate listening to it, you know... Apologies to your immersion here, but... Oh, that's nicer. That's nicer on my ears. I don't know about you guys. Alright. That is going to be set to 21 degrees. That's fine. Please make the other one. Now, we can... We'll leave that one on Hemogen Farm. I just want to kind of have the Hemogen in case we get a vampire dude coming our way. Where are you going? Oh, re out of meals. Yep. Sorry, Lapsus. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> Wow, are you just hauling everything right now? It's really not what I meant, but... There we go. Look at the fine meals. Unloading inventory, my gosh. Like... I must have been holding shift. I must have been holding shift, because why else would she just ignore that? Fire! It's fine gonna be fine and someone is infected Regis has gotten sick from infection okay make those meals wait till she's at least in the fridge and then tend Regis please it does strike me as a possibility that um, maybe we do away with Regis. The pyromaniac thing hasn't been an issue. And that mining, uh, the animals skills are uh, really useful to us. So I don't know. I guess we just suffer his tantrums for now. Part of it is they can't get out of bed because they keep going crazy. So they're not getting recreation, which makes them crazy. It's a bit of a feedback loop. Recreation starved. Like, go play some chess with yourself. Sorry, err. Err. All right, then. Oh, Anadin's going to be really upset, right? Proposal was rejected by Player X, and then she died. But you got married to Elapsis, which is going to expire in 1.7 days, and then you're going to go insane. Uh, that's 34, 38, uh, 42, 46, 49, 50. Minus 50. Oh, man. 12, 24, 34... 42. Okay, maybe he'll be okay. Be nice if we could haul this crap out. The slag get put over here. 
Yeah. Get rid of that junk. Ah, uh, yes. We still have Anadin, I think, doing wardening. We're gonna turn that right down. Because Elapsis is fine to do it. And really is preferred. Yeah, your sleep's good now. Go convert. Certainty to 44. We're almost ready to do another conversion power, if you want to call it that. Jihondo's got a minor break risk. You're gonna be fine. Yes, go watch some TV. It'll make you feel better. Sleeping again. Yeah, maybe we should try and get this uh, surgery done. Fire. It'll be good. Okay, we got an eyeball. So, oh, you've got that major infection too. We're ahead of it, but let's make sure Lapsus is on top of it. And uh, let's replace an eyeball. Install eye, right eye. Harvest everything. Where was the harvest everything? Harvest. Everything. So do the eye, the spine, the ears, the nose, the jaw, the kidneys, etc, etc. Do the operation. At least Regis won't go crazy when they're unconscious from sedative. There we go. And the infection, yeah, we're well ahead of that. Sedated for 17 hours. You just need your other eye. And there it is. What are you carrying? Is that a shield pack or something? Yeah, the low shield pack. You're also carrying an extra steel knife. Hopefully Regis can... handle having another surgery right away. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, enjoy your replacement eyes. Pig eyes, as it were. That poor person. But hey, they attacked us. They didn't want to have their organs harvested. They shouldn't have uh, done it, right? <laughs> uh, the things you say when you play RimWorld. Brutal. We should probably have a light in there. Couple of them, really. All right, we'll wait on the rest of that to get smoothed out. Regis is no longer incapable of walking. That's a little sad. And uh, let's convert Dundas. Pretty please. Down to 43%. Wait, can we do Regis? Yes. Let's just do that while we're there. 
Just really want to stay on top of it. Quicker we get these two back in the colony, the better. Yeah, maybe I should have done the reduction on Regis. It's 43% to 36%. Yeah, Regis should probably become the primary target of any further powers like that. Uh, how are we for food? We're out again. Elapsis is sleeping. She actually needs to sleep. It's okay. It's a minus five outside and raining. Figure that one out. You would think the, the rainy thunderstorm would change to snowy thunderstorm. Just because of physics, but I guess not. Okay, Elapsis, we're gonna need the food. I'm sorry to wake you up. Let's speed it along. One more. Oh, we're at a we're at a fire. Oh, the psychites come in. Oh my gosh, psychic ship. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. Must have an onboard machine persona with psychic projection ability. And this persona is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible, but beware, it will probably defend itself. Just what we needed. Okay, there's four mechs there. Um, two Lancers, Scyther. We're gonna have to get people out there with rifles. Probably a couple of them. Your shooting is pretty good. I would be unhappy about changing you to a different weapon though. Lapsus has got shotgun. Anadin's got the long rifle. I think Anadin and Legon go. And try to, I don't know, try and aggro them, I guess. Maybe just Anadin. Where's this ship? It's up here. Oh, Elapsis is still cooking. That's fine. Should have enough meals for a minute. Yeah, 16, 18, 21. Oh, there's a bear right there. That's super handy. Anadin has a... Never mind, I wasn't on Anadin. I was like, he has a shotgun? What? Ah, uh, we're just, just not close enough. Or maybe we were. This is going to be hard to hit. That bear's hurt. You get hit by lightning bear? Uh, the other option... Never mind. No option needed. Run away. That's the option. Oh, right. We're back to this. We get a rope a dope. But the Scythers. He's not stopping. Which is strange. Crisis of Belief, Dundas. Dundas's spirit has broken. 
As a result, she was forced to question everything. She decided that her belief in collective avarkism has no longer made any sense. She now believes in neo-ideology. She's wandering in shock while grappling with her beliefs. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw was starving. Really? So now she believes in something else that isn't ours? 50% certainly. At least we didn't lose that much. Ours is loyaltism. All right. Um, yeah, Elapsis, you've got to get up and feed people. Resting. Calm Dundas. Yeah, they're all starving quite badly. Never mind. You know what? Sleep. Brett crafts, feed. Anadin's coming back. Harvesting corn plant. No, you're feeding Regis. I guess you do need to calm Dundas. Because we need to be able to feed them. Hopefully this works. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, but she didn't go crazy, so... Feed them. I do wish we could bring some food in there for Dundas. Okay, who? you need food. Okay, Anadin's feeding you. You need food. Elapsis is doing that. You've been fed. Okay. I guess other than Dundas being malnourished, things are quote unquote okay. How do we do that? No, that's not going to do. Okay, and I didn't get some food. Maybe we just have to... You know, pick up four fine meals, please. Come on down here. We'll see if we can just drop food in there and if Dundas will pick it up and eat it on their own. There you go. Have your own meal. There we go. Okay, that worked. It's unfortunate that because they're wandering, we couldn't just right click and say deliver food. But hey. Brett Craft, why are you operating on them? Oh gosh, this is not going to go well. Surgery failed on Sky. Uh, oh, 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 geez. Uh, you need to tend them, but you're not... Why, why were you even doing that? Elapse, this is going to have to wake up and do it. Time to turn off the doctoring for... What? Why, why was Brett Kreft even doing that? I think it was Legon I just turned off of Doctoring. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, whatever. Spoils in 2.3 years. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. There we go. And we took an ear while we were at it. Oh, no. We're going to continue harvesting. 
There's another one. We're just going all out now, I guess. You don't think they've had enough elapses? Feeding a meal. Removing body part. No, you're not. You're cooking. Marauder Lair. Raven Kaga, Alpha Chief of the White Craig Tribe, has sent us a message. Apparently, Yatakin, based in a nearby camp, have been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by Shell Yoish. Kaga is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. Say it's a bandit camp at the site, guarded by three attacking. For a marine helmet, that's kind of cool, but we don't have the manpower for that right now. So we ignore it. Fire. It's okay. Okay, Lapsus, you need everything. So you go off, have a bite to eat, go to sleep. And we gotta leave her alone for a little bit, man. Like... She needs to not doctor or warden for a little bit. We'll turn these guys on to warden. Plague. Great. Legon, Dundas, and Tramp. Well, could be worse. Uh, Tramp can die for all I care. Malnutrition. Trivial. Yeah. Um... Amputate right ear. Why is it amputate and not harvest? You're just going to try and get a little bit out of them. Uh, we need to add Psychite T. To our bills before I forget here. And we could have a look at the social drug policy. Which, uh, yeah, Psychite T, keep one in your inventory. This is the uh, for recreation. Go ahead. Why am I not getting these options? Because because the one because I'm not hitting one, I'm hitting zero. Okay, could be could be bug behavior. I mean, things maybe are still not perfect for addictions. Yeah, okay. Because I would like to change the frequency of that, for sure. Oh. Scheduled. Right. Frequency... Every couple of days, only if mood below... Like, 40%. 39%. Only if recreation... Actually, I don't care about the recreation bit. Ah, maybe I do. 39%. There we go. At least they match. In their non-roundness of number. Brett Craft is trying to convert, I guess. No, trying to calm. That didn't work. Okay, at least they're being fed regularly. Certainty 35% on Regis. Yeah, your recreation needs a little something doing. Regis is fully healed. Well, um, let's take another run. Yeah, while you're 
in good shape here. Let's take another run and shoot something. I should probably change the cluster exclusion area. Expand allowed area, cluster exclusion. We can add that. Clear cluster exclusion. We'll make it that area around them. We'll assign schedule, I mean, because that makes sense to me. Doesn't. They're all milling around that side of the thing. Are they going to come for me just being this far away? Come on, walk into my range. Yeah, you get a little closer and they all come a-running. Well, good try. I feel like I just need to take a pot shot at this thing. But we can't hit that either, so what's it matter? Well, that's nice. I mean, it's too bad it bounced. Wow, that was a close lightning strike. Yes, shoot the Militor, because that's... We killed its leg. Is this guy coming? Why can't why didn't you shoot it? Yes. Right arm. Total bounce on the other one. Clicked it just too soon. Oh boy. Be careful. Oh yeah, they can they can reach you from there. They have, I think, the exact same range. No, no, we just can't see him. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that I will take. One of the few times where it works in our favor. Yeah, like, why can't you shoot him from there? I don't understand. Nice couple of hits. Sanadin's capable of taking this down. It's just going to take some time, but it's it's the manpower that we have available right now, which is making me believe this is the best bet. Go hide, take a shot. It'd be nice to get these guys down, because then I could bring a swarm with many guns. Shoot him. Get him. Alright, Anadin has had enough. They're going to go home. And that's, in fact, going to be it for this episode. Uh, again, apologies for the weird audio, but uh, it is what it is for the next few days. Uh, Friday, I should be back to normal. Until then, hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.